So welcome everyone. Um, this evening, the Yoga Nidra practice, we'll do the full practice. And one of the pieces that I wanted to focus on was, um, so there's these, it's called koshas or sheaths in Yoga Nidra where you're inquiring into these different aspects. So body, breath, emotions, thoughts, um, thought of self, joy and then sahaj which is like a natural state that you're resting in at the end and um in the in the vijnana maya kosha which is more focused on the cognitions beliefs and images so this is where you can explore core beliefs that you're holding and their opposites you can explore um, thoughts the mind um, the nature of kind of just like how the thinking mind and memories. And you can also explore images. So by the time you get to this part of the practice, this has you've done the body scan, the breathing, checked in, you know, any emotional tones present. And so you're fairly, you know, 20 minutes at least into the practice, depending on, you know, how long the particular yoga nidra practice is. And so at this point, um, our bodies can and minds can be really ready to to allow what's unconscious or in the subconscious to arise. And so one of the kind of old school yoga nidra ways is to name images one after the other that are sort of archetypal. And so at that part of the practice, I'm going to name a series of images. And so if you're still um, aware at that point and not sort of in the sleep state, then just check and see, just feel, um, feel yourself as this observing presence to all that's coming and going and what I'm saying as certain images. See what's evoked in you, because we, ex we, we expend a lot of energy and kind of repressing this is all kind of at the unconscious level but and i don't know exactly how it works um scientifically katie's going to explain that later <laughs> and, so um, chill today. <laughs> yeah yeah she's chilling today she's not explaining any anything about the unconscious but um but there, there's a lot of energy actually that can be used in in holding back or holding down or repressing um, what is in our unconscious and so when we get to that part of the practice and we're invited to think of these different images then that can allow releases of other memories of feeling tones and we start can start to make connections between things that weren't there before so I won't say too much about what can happen because anything can happen at this part of the practice. And it's just our work in the meditation to inquire ourselves. And, uh, but when we get to that part and I'm just naming different images such as clouds or city or a candle, whatever it is, um, just, just notice what's evoked in you. Don't try too hard to focus on conjuring an image, but just see what emerges naturally. So this is that we're wanting to be a little in that slightly hypnagogic in between waking and sleep state at that point of the practice. And there can be something that happens at the somatic level that it integrates, integrates memories, integrates um, knowings that we have. And so we'll check in afterwards and see, you know, how the practice was for everyone. But I love to do a full yoga nidra practice. So I think with that, we will get into the practice unless anyone has questions. And so, yeah, what, what you can do is have your videos off and, oh, sorry, before we go in. Yeah, Ben, go ahead. Uh, as a first time Yoga Nidra practitioner, is there anything I need to know heads up or should I just follow along and fake it till I make it? Yeah, okay. So thank you so much for asking that. Um, so as a first time yoga nidra practitioner, what what you want to do is set up to be as comfortable as you can. So this is really where you're lying on a mat or couch, bed, floor, whatever it is. And um, have you meditated before I'm guessing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. So, um, so it's kind of a similar situation to when you're meditating, except for the difference is you don't 
you don't want to try too hard a same in meditation, but same in sitting meditation, but um, you're actually not holding any part of yourself up, you know, and so you're absolutely invited to fall asleep. If you fall asleep, um, there is not a particular way to do this. You can gain more benefit sometimes when you've fallen asleep than not. And um, also you can gain a lot of benefit from staying awake and, and really following the inquiry word by word. So I would say just let yourself have the experience you're having and then we'll we'll connect afterwards. But thank you. Great. Yeah, so everybody could you could turn your videos off and if you like and um, settle in just somewhere that you really can be supported to go into uh, Yoga Nidra state of. Well, we could say relaxation, but we'll see what actually happens and. Just be sure that you can hear me without straining. So if that's headphones or if that's just being close enough to the computer. Yeah, and just um, as you're settling in, perhaps having a sense of, of gratitude to yourself for making it to this practice and for being here and just giving yourself the gift of this time and space to be able to inquire, to be able to rest deeply. You know, the practice can be called non sleep deep rest and yet even uh, Andrew Huberman, who coined that term, calls can call it like conscious napping. <laughs> so if you do start to move towards falling asleep and just notice the body is falling asleep, just being aware of that as well. So let's begin by getting a little bit more comfortable than you are right now. So maybe shoulder blades down the spine. Hands can be face up or face down. You can have your uh, heels hip width distance apart or further, and you can have a bolster underneath your knees if you like. Um, pillow underneath your head, a blanket nearby. We'll begin just in as any meditation practice would by following the breath in and out. You can use the verb following the breath, but also like joining with the breath. It's like an intimacy with the breath, whereas you're breathing in and out, there's a interconnection between your awareness and the breath. Maybe we'll take a few um, long exhalations. So first of all, taking an inhale to the crown of the head. Then exhale, sweep your attention all the way down your body, out the soles of your feet. Inhaling back up through the body to the crown of the head. Exhaling, sweep attention through the body to the soles of the feet. few more of those breaths and as you do so check in and just notice the emotional tone that may be present from the day. You may feel calm or tired or jumbled, whatever's present welcoming the emotional state just as it is. As you follow your breath in and out from the crown of the head down to the soles of the feet. There's no correct way to do this practice, so we're just following along. You can let my words guide you. You can have that be a backdrop to your own inquiry, whatever is best for you. So 
the body begins to go into uh, different states of rest. Just don't fight that. Just allow the body just to do exactly what it does as you're inquiring in this yoga nidra practice. Setting aside any ad agenda or it has to be a certain way, but tuning into your intention. Maybe that's just to show up and see what happens or to rest and kind of let go of the day. Whatever your intention is, tune into that. And then allow the senses to open. So this just means ears to sound. It's like sound is coming to you. Sound of my voice, sound of your breath, whatever other sounds you hear. Smell and taste, the senses are open. And touch, feeling perhaps the air on your skin, the weight of your body sinking into the surface. Notice any shadows or light across your eyes eyelids so can you feel as Mary Oliver says a soft animal of your body just the breathing in and out intimacy of the breath coming and going the senses open Perhaps dropping any of those defenses that we can carry around with us through the day. Social masks or just kind of barriers between us and the world. If there are any of those layers here, you just allow those to melt away. Left with this openness, body breathing. We'll begin by tuning into a feeling of well-being or ease in your body. It may just be the breath coming and going is easeful. Or there may be other things present like a sense of joy, the heart, or equanimity. But we're beginning the practice with this foundation of well-being and ease, non-striving, non-grasping. Just relaxing in the naturalness of who we are. Just notice if the mind is kind of directing traffic here or seeing what's next and just allow that to soften. Coming back to joining with the breath. We'll systematically rotate attention through the body, beginning in 
the jaw and ending in the feet. So as you're joining with the breath, it's just this feeling quality of body breathing itself and you begin to bring attention to your jaw. Notice if there's any tightness or holding, contraction up towards your ears. What would it be like to invite the muscles around your jaw to release tension? Maybe the jaw opens slightly, tongue is relaxed, cheeks. Breath coming gently in and out of the mouth through the nose. Bring attention to the left ear and notice any sensation that's present. Perhaps even just sound resonating or any tension or grasping in the left ear. You may picture your left ear and then let go of the image. Just go to the felt sense, even if it's very slight or even almost feels numb. Just the felt sense of the left ear. Breath coming and going. Bringing this patient attention to the body as we sense the right ear now. Notice any reverberation of sound or any holding or grasping in or around the right ear. Can you allow that just by noticing the tension it may spontaneously release? Letting go of the image of the right ear, just the pure sensation Now sense both ears simultaneously. Breathing in and out. And even perhaps sensing your whole body as a receptivity to sound, not just your ears, but your whole body. Whatever you feel, perhaps it's like a tingly feeling in a global body sensation or whatever's here, just notice. Do the same with the eyes. So bring attention to the left eye. What would it be like to let go of any unnecessary holding, grasping the left eye. Same with the right eye. Just as I possibly even name right eye, you may have it spontaneously release tension there. And then both eyes simultaneously. So it's as if like the eyes can't see themselves. So relaxing all visualization. It's the felt sense of both, both eyes. Feeling from behind your eyes now. And then allow attention to flow through your head to the back of your head and then down to the back of your neck. Are there any little muscles holding your head away from the pillow or 
floor. Can you release those? You may even feel your body make slight shifts when you bring attention to a certain body part. Let's map the breath to the body scan now, taking an inhale to the left shoulder. Exhale all the way down the left arm, just slowly allowing attention and breath flow down the left arm into the palm of the left hand. Feeling the aliveness, pulsing sensation as you breathe in and out, sensing the palm of the left hand and your whole left arm. It's as if that particular part of your body is just lit up with sensation. Gentle, easy breath in and out. We're going to move attention to the right shoulder, but do so just with a felt sense. So you're feeling from the left shoulder and left arm all the way across the midline of the body. Bring attention to the right shoulder, taking an inhale. And a long, slow exhalation. Allow energy, attention to flow down the right arm into the palm of the right hand. Feeling that aliveness, a radiance of sensation in the palm of the right hand, the whole right arm. You may even during this practice feel uh, movements of pleasure just simply from sensing the body. So whatever's present is welcome just as it is. Shift attention again back to the left arm and hand. So allow your attention to shift through the midline of the body across to the left arm and hand, perhaps taking an inhale to the left shoulder, exhaling down all the way down to the palm of the left hand. Breathing in and out. And then let your attention shift through the midline of the body across back to the right shoulder, taking an inhale and exhale down to the palm of the right hand. So we'll go back and forth. As you inhale, draw attention to the opposite shoulder and as you exhale allow attention to go all the way down that arm into the hand inhaling opposite shoulder exhaling down that arm into the palm of that hand so go back and forth inhaling opposite shoulder exhaling all the way down to the hand go back and forth at your own pace with your breath Letting go of grasping with the eyes and doing this as a felt sense exploration. Energy and attention flowing down first one arm and then the other with the breath. Let go of thinking and uh, bring attention with an inhale to both shoulders. Exhale down both arms into the palms of both hands. So yeah, it's like both arms and hands are simultaneously spot, like there's a spotlight on it. And you just feel the sensation, the radiance, the energy.
Sensing now from the arms into the torso, noticing belly or chest rising and falling with the breath. Sensing the heart and the organs. Chest, belly, upper back, lower back. If there are any places of tension in your torso, just notice, welcome, perhaps invite them to release any unnecessary holding. Noticing if there's any holding in the belly from the day, shoulders, chest, back. Again, there may be energetic movements in the body, slight shifts. There could be um, just waves of different feeling sensations. Just welcoming it all as it is. And let attention gently move to the left hip with an inhale. Exhaling, energy and attention flow all the way down the left leg into the sole of the left foot. As the left leg and foot are now lit up with your attention, with your breath, breathing in and out. No agenda, just exploring whatever is present, left leg, left foot. You feel your attention kind of merging with the object so there's not the separation. It's just absorption in left leg and foot, just breathing in and out. And gently bring attention to the right hip with an inhale. Exhale all the way down the right leg into the sole of the right foot and beyond. You may feel an energetic aliveness in the right leg and foot, like a radiance or shimmering. You could feel numbness, whatever is present. No judgment, just being with what is as it is. Breathing in and out, right leg, right foot. We'll go back and forth with the breath. So with the inhale coming to the opposite hip, exhale all the way down to the sole of that foot. Inhaling to the opposite hip, exhaling all the way down to the sole of that foot. So follow your own breath back and forth from one hip and leg to the other. Let the thinking mind still no need to effort in this practice. Just bringing attention back to the breath, back to the body sensing, shifting attention from one leg to the other. Inhale to both hips, and then exhale both legs and feet simultaneously. Notice any currents of energy. You may feel a vibrant aliveness as you sense both legs and feet. Can you allow your whole body now to kind of light up with presence? So it's a global body felt sense from head to toe, left and right sides, front and back.
breathing in, breathing out. Notice any sensations that are pre present. Could be pleasant, could be unpleasant, numb or neutral, whatever is here, just welcome as it is. Not defending or holding back anything that's here, just radically being with body aliveness, the breath coming and going. You may feel body as like an openness, like a field of sensation. Checking perhaps, is there a center and periphery? Or does it feel more like a, an open field of sensation if I let go of the image of the body? Stay with the felt sense of the aliveness. Letting yourself notice, are there any feeling tones present? Maybe pleasure, maybe something that's unsatisfying, whatever's here. Can you feel that too as sensation in the body? You may have a label or name for it, but then bring it right back to the felt sense sensation. Breath coming and going. So this is where it's like the body's just breathing itself naturally. There's this aliveness of sensation just check and see are there any particular emotions that are here and just noticing welcoming feeling them Just touching any emotional tones with your awareness. It's just gentle presence of welcoming as it is. Not needing to fix or change or push away. Transform anything, but just being with what's here. Notice too any movement of the mind, if it's slow or lots of thoughts, whatever is present, just noticing as it is and come back to the breath. You may feel on the inhale like an expansion where belly rises and the attention goes out into the whole body and beyond and then on the exhale, belly falls attention moves inward inhale expanding exhale contracting just back and forth name different images now archetypal images and just notice as I name an image if any images arise in your mind's eye so just be with them as they come in particular staying with the felt sense as we do this part of the meditation so I'll name one image after the other and just seeing seeing what arises in a particular way this needs to look First image, 
a baby being held and nurtured. A fire burning in a fireplace. A circle of trusted friends. An open grave with a body inside. A pond of clear water. A sandy beach by the ocean. Temple bell ringing. A well going down into the ground. A war scene. Torrential rain. A frail old man. Full moon. A dying person. A cat resting. A blue lotus. Infinite space, empty. A monk with a shaven head. Sheep grazing. The sun setting in the sky. A wise old woman. A yogi in meditation. hollow tree trunk, the eternal restless sea, a young child, Tall, majestic tree.
a white lotus. cave leading down into the ground. A flame flickering. A river running down a mountainside. A human skeleton. A person lying on the ground, still and quiet. Notice any feelings in the body as these images and any other images or memories have in your mind's eye. What is the felt sense? And if images continue to come, arise, just welcome and allow. It could be any memories, colors, shapes. Feeling yourself as this observing, aware presence, intimate with the 10,000 things, with all that we're exploring in meditation. Just dropping the defense of separateness, allowing this felt closeness with what is in your experience. All while maintaining this quality of awareness that's kind of awake to itself. Rested. As deep as the ocean. Noticing here that the thought of self comes and goes, the I thought comes and goes, the problem. Kind of feeling yourself as this more kind of boundless oceanic awareness, deeply intimate with all of life. Letting go of the energy that's been holding us apart from what's here. And the energy can return back to this resting as awareness. So the felt inquiry here, so dropping down from the thinking mind into the heart and the body, inviting in any qualities now of joy or pleasure, any 
maybe anything from like a subtle bliss feeling all the way to just movements of joy in the body. No need to put a lid on joy, so just taking the lid off and seeing what's here, if I explore joy in the body now. It could look like equanimity or just movements of energy, whatever's here. Just welcoming it as a felt sense in the body. Feeling the being recharged by connecting with any bliss or joy or pleasure. It's the, the pleasure of not holding oneself separate. Allowing that inquiry to take you into just resting in this natural state. The naturalness that's already here, and just tuning into it and letting go of defense, of misperception, of holding back and down this naturalness, this joy. As part of the meditation, just asking your psyche, is there anything that would like to be acknowledged or seen or met, held in the light of awareness in this moment? And see, just as with the imagery, just see what comes. Is there anything that would like to be acknowledged, met, held, seen, known? Just be with whatever it is that, if anything, arises in your experience. Maybe it's a, like a holding of yourself, you know, a gentle holding presence that you're giving to yourself. Maybe it's an insight, whatever's here, just let your psyche and the wisdom of the body shine through. Breath coming and going, picturing yourself moving through the rest of the evening and to sleep and having a deep restful sleep and waking up refreshed. And can you feel yourself carried through the evening? It's like a gentle presence with you that is you but that's just shining through all of your experience. And just picturing that before we close the meditation. And just closing with a sense of gratitude, maybe even placing your hand on your heart and appreciating that you took time to do the practice and let your body begin to make gentle movements so your fingers and toes can move. And let yourself, um, perhaps gently your knees come in towards your chest and you roll off to one side and you just rest there. No 
rushing, really just letting yourself be moved moment to moment, yeah. feeling the joy of that really. And just when it's at your own pace coming back to seated position and we'll share a little bit of reflections, but no rush at all. Um, thank you for doing the practice.